I am here to shoot straight with you guys. I was going to do a video with many reasons when to sell, how to sell, why to sell. But the only reason I would ever sell my sports cars personally is based off hype. People buy off hype, people sell off hype, and people make money off hype. Let's just give you one quick example to start this off. What was just recently? The NBA dunk contest. Was Mac McClung, auto, ever selling for anything before he won the dunk contest champion? The answer is no. Let me show you an example. So if we go over to my computer right here, what I'm using is card ladder. All you want to do is sell off the hype. Let's look right here. Matt McClung, rookie rated rookie auto sticker, February 19th, which is a day after the dunk contest victory, sold for $120. This man probably had his Matt McClung rated rookie in a binder somewhere. He saw that he won the dunk contest. Let me take advantage of it. Listed on eBay, sold for 120 bucks. Just a month later, everybody forgot about Mac McClung. He had his one and done. He won the contest. He went viral. He got his hype. New things happens in sports. It's kind of forgotten about. A month later, the same exact card sells for 60% less, if my math is correct. Sold for 120 right after the dunk contest. Sold for $50 on March 26th. Another example of taking advantage of hype, of a player getting upgraded, a player winning Rookie of the Year, player winning MVP. They don't even need to win MVP. They don't need to win Rookie of the Year. It could simply be someone being named the starter. For example, Anthony Volpe. Everybody in the hobby thought Jason Dominguez was going to be the guy. Comes out, Anthony Volpe is going to be the shortstop. I'm going to bring you over to the computer and I'm going to show you a sale. As you can see right here on the screen, there's an Anthony Volpe out of 499 BGS 95 Auto 10. So he got announced March 26th that he was going to be the shortstop. This was the sale 11 days before he was announced for 1225. And now look at the most recent sale. April 3rd, so this is a week after he got announced, the shortstop. Same exact card sold for $550 more because the hype, the news. Take advantage of the players you have in your PC, the cards you have in your PC, and when big news articles or big plays happen or highlight-type moments happen with them, take advantage because when everybody is talking about the person, that's when you want to sell them. When nobody is talking about the person, that's when you want to buy them. So I really want to emphasize to you guys, when nobody is speaking about the player is when usually I'm buying the player. For example, during last season, Aaron Rodgers is playing, drama happening in the Green Bay Packers organization. Do you think any soul is mentioning the name Jordan Love? There weren't many talks of Jordan Love because Rodgers is obviously a Hall of Famer. He's starting. They're going to try to make the playoffs. No one's talking about the backup quarterback. Well, let me take you to my computer. Look at this. March 27th, 2022. When nobody's talking about Jordan Love. A SGC 1010 cracked ice Jordan Love sold for $2,070. Let's fast forward to the news of Rodgers leaving. Jordan Love trying to be QB1. Hasn't even happened yet, but people are talking like Jordan Love is gonna be the starter. This is one year later. Same exact card. Sold for $6,500. That is a one year same card sale. $4,500 gain. Just because the news. I'm not saying Jordan Love is going to be a Hall of Famer, an MVP, even a good football player. The man has not thrown a football, but the guy who has this card has made $4,500. But there's also something you need to be asking yourself. It comes down to like when you're at the 
you're at the poker table, you got that gut feeling, should I bet, should I go all in, or should I fold? Sports cards are kind of like that. Do you believe in your player? For the Jordan Love example, do you believe in Jordan Love? Do you think that he could take the Packers to the playoffs? Because yeah, $4,500 gains on one card is great. But if Jordan Love goes and he makes a run into the playoffs, that $6,500 card could quite possibly be a ten dollars to $15,000 card. And then there's examples like this, where there's sharp buys, there's market trends, and there's just blasphemy. If you go to my computer right here, this is my golden account. I bought a, a rookie Zion Gold Shimmer. BGS 9.5, okay? Uh, see, I'm buying Zion when he's hurt because no one's talking about him. The man's hurt. But in my opinion, he's one of the rawest talents I've ever seen playing basketball. When healthy, this guy is a human highlight tape. So I bought the card $7,800 if you're looking at the screen. This was Wednesday, February 8th, 2023. Now, if you go look at my screen here, just under a month later, think about this, keep this in mind. Zion has still not even shot a basketball on a television screen. And his PSA 9 Gold Shimmer sold for 9,000. So BGS 9.5 is worth more than a PSA 9. And the PSA 9 just sold for $1,200 more than what I bought my BGS 9.5 So I was talking to some sharps. I like to consider myself sharp. I actually got an offer on my BGS 9.5 Zion for 12.5 thousand. So within two months of me buying a card for $7,800, I had an offer for $3,700 more and the player didn't even shoot a basketball. I, I, I bought an Ant-Man True RPA first off the line. If you're looking at this card right here, my motive behind buying it is I bought it for $13,000 because it was in an SGC 9. This card in a BGS 9.5 sells for $25,000. So I was going to crack it, send it into regraded. If it gets a better grade, I can make $10,000 on that card. Think about that. Think about that for a second. Ant-Man again, because it's a mojo. I only buy short prints. I mean, one-on-one Trevor Lawrence NT. There's only one in the world. So you can get the trend. These cards are very short printed of players that I believe in. Will they all work out? Who knows? If you're looking at my computer screen right now, I'm going to show you news that doesn't really make sense. So if you're looking at my screen here, if someone could explain this to me in the comments, I'd be very appreciative. Trey Lance on any sports book across the world. Odds to win MVP, $3,500. Pause, pause the video right now and guess, what do you think Brock Purdy's is? Cause I'm gonna show you. Plus 7,500. So tell me how does that make sense? They think Purdy's going to be the starter. But guess what? Vegas is never wrong. So I saw these lines, you know, a couple weeks ago. I said, this doesn't make sense. And when it's weird, it's good. I'm starting to buy up every single Trey Lance there is. Because if with Brock Purdy's prices right now, what they're selling for doesn't become the starter and Trey Lance gets the reins, Trey Lance will be selling for what Brock Purdy is going for right now. So let me show you guys something that I like to consider criminal. So I just talked about the odds. Trey Lance plus 3,500, Brock Purdy plus 7,500. You look at opportunity costs, you look at risk versus reward. Where can I make the most money on a card? Go over to my computer. Trey Lance, a couple days ago, I think three or four days from time of this recording, Silver Prism Rookie Auto sold for $183. $183. You look at what Brock Purdy is selling for. Silver Prism Brock Purdy, 600, 500, 550. He is almost 3Xing the price of Trey Lance. So just think about it. Will Trey Lance start? Who knows? But for $183 roll, you could see what the starter of the Niners prices are selling for because of the hype of Brock Purdy and what he just did. 
if Trey Lance is an ounce starter, that 180, you could almost guarantee, turns into five, six, seven hundred dollars a raw card. So it's all about opportunity. It's all about finding the buys within the hobby and exploiting the hype. I would not be buying Brock Purdy. I would not be buying Mac McClung after he won the dunk contest. I would not be buying Jordan Love right after Aaron Rodgers announces to leave the Packers. I would wait and I would think to the future. For example, a lot of people know me for my Trevor Lawrence collection. I was buying Trevor Lawrence when they were three and 14 with the worst coach in NFL history because no one else believed. You have to zig while everybody else is zagging. You cannot buy on the hype. You only sell on the hype. You buy when no one's looking. That has been my strategy with sports cards since I got in and I've done very well. I'm here to provide you the information that I have learned throughout my buying and selling career. And hopefully you could take some of the words that I just talked into this camera today and you could take them and you could become a sharp yourself. Because I promise you, if you put in the work at home, you will be able to make money in sports cards. You just gotta do your due diligence. You sell on the hype, you buy when no one's looking. That's an informational video from the back here. I hope you enjoyed. Drop a comment down below if you learned something today and let me know what you guys wanna see next.